the chili dog. It's one of the highest forms of hot dog deliciousness, mixing the juicy wiener with spicy chili. But the problem is, few people know how to eat it without making a huge mess. So we've enlisted one of the finest experts from higher education, Dr. Bernard Demchuk of George Washington University, who's also the official historian at Ben's Chili Bowl, that historic landmark on U Street in Washington, D.C., where we sit today. So Dr. Demchuk. Yes. All along, I've just been recklessly eating my chili dog. Tell me how to do it right. Well, you know, Janet, I'm so glad you asked that because it really saddens me to see people eating their chili dog and spilling the sauce all over the place. And you know, what I did here is I wrote this essay, this essay on how to properly eat a chili dog. It's called Bernie's Dog Bite Method. And I did it particularly because I wanted to help people avoid sauce slippage. Oh, that's yeah. a problem. Well, it is a problem because the secret is in the sauce and the taste is in the sauce. And if you're dropping the sauce all over your tie and your blouse and all over the counter, you're not getting the sauce. So I wrote this particularly for people like you and everybody here to avoid sauce slippage so you get 100% enjoyment out of your chili dog. Excellent. Let's get started. Sure. One of the first things we have to do is we have to get rid of these. Please don't eat it with a knife and fork because that's embarrassing. I mean, if you went to the baseball game at the Yankee Stadium or an Orioles Park and they saw you eating a hot dog with a knife and fork, they would throw you out of the stadium. Do not eat with a knife and fork. So the first thing in this step is to position the hot dog properly. You've got to get things out of the way and have plenty of elbow room and get this hot dog set just right so you can lift it and grip it properly. I need good space to do that. So the second step is the grip. It's really important to grip not too tight, not too loose. Because if you grip too tight, you're going to force out the sauce. The grip is the second step. So the third step is lifting the chili dog. It's really important. Remember, L is for lift and L is for level. So when you lift it, you want to keep it level. You do not want to put it one way this way or this way because then the sauce will slip out. Level. So the fourth step is really important as well, and that is to enter the hot dog properly on a 45 to 60 degree angle. Open your mouth wide so you don't hit the hot dog on your teeth on the side of the mouth. Open wide at a 45 degree angle, and act just as this. So the fifth and the final step, the step that you've been waiting for, and that is the bite. When you bite, make sure you bite with the canines and cut that skin really well so you can explode the juices in your mouth. Watch the bite. Mmm, is that good? And look, I avoided sauce slippage. So of course, after step five is the repeat. And practice makes perfect. So after we bite, we repeat. Mmm, no sauce slippage. Superb. So Dr. Demchuk. Yes. Love your tips on a chili dog, uh -huh. but remember, what? even when eating a chili dog, our hot dog council etiquette still applies. So if you get chili on your finger, yep. lick it off. Really? Wash it off. Does it taste good? Right. And for more great information about hot dogs, go to our website, hot-dog.org.